We're going to do a horn mount. I've had some requests for this. What I do here, I, I either use a paper mache or a fish filler, filler base. That gives me the roundness to the for a base around the horns to fill in the low spots. What I'm going to do is put it on this board first and build it. I'm going to screw this to this board here like this. Now I don't like my horns real far forward hanging on the wall. I want them so I can see the profile of them a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here. Really this is just to hold this in place. Just like that. Just to hold that in place. And that way looking at it from the side, see that that's uh, that'll look nice looking at you from the wall. Okay, so we got that ready to go. Now we're going to put a little fish filler together here. This is relatively inexpensive stuff. It's just plaster of Paris, I believe, with some newspaper ground up, some kind of a some kind of a filler type deal in there. So I'll just make that like this here. Get it a nice consistency. You don't want it too thin. about the right consistency right there. Now what I do is I'll take this, let's pull this over this way a little bit. And I'll just pack this around there like this. We're just trying to get it nice. Something that makes the horns look nice when it's hanging on the wall. I mean, you could do a real little one, but I like them just a little bigger. And you want to make it so it looks decent. It'll be a smooth transition here. We'll use a little clay. It'll, it'll sag a little bit here. Get in the back here. little clay will fill this out. You want it nice and concentric otherwise you'll be doing a lot of carving on it. We don't want that. You don't want to do any more than you have to on that. But it's done, it's done. You want it to look about the same all the way around. here. I want this to look eccentric, so I'm going to move this out of the way. It didn't quite look, it isn't quite looking right here, so don't forget my screw right here. We don't want to forget about that. I'm going to leave that exposed a little bit so I can get it out of there. come back and I'll work with that a little bit. I, I just want it to look nice and round here. Something like that. I might have got it just a little too thin. 
so we're going to thicken this up a little bit. Let me see if I can find something to cut this with. this up just a little. The size of this a little bit here. Won't take much. I'm just getting it a little bit thicker. That way it won't sag quite as much on me. And it'll take overnight to set this up get hard enough for me to set it up and or for it to set up and to work on. Paper mache would work too. If you got access to that you can buy that. So you see that and I'm gonna we'll just let that set up just like that tonight. Well that looks pretty good doesn't it? Now I'll take a knife, I'll, I'll get my little screw hole here where my screw is. I'll make a little bit of hole there that way I can get at it and tomorrow I'll, I'll get that screw out I'll put some I'll put a little clay in there. We're going to drill two holes through here and mount it to our plaque before we cover it. I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, that'll look pretty good. But you can always dry it up a little bit more by just sprinkling some dry stuff on it. And that'll, that'll dry that out a little better. Anyway, that'll look pretty good. Okay, that's that one. Now what we're going to do is we'll do one uh, using clay tomorrow. And that one there I can do all at one shot. I'll, I can put the clay around it. I'm going to turn this like this here. I might be able to put the other set of back in here. So if we can, that'd be good. So I'm going to find another set of antlers here. We're going to go ahead and put this guy just like, well, let's go ahead and put him, okay, we'll put a screw in there, just like this, get more than one going at a time here, okay. This one's going to mount pretty flat to the wall, I think, which is okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get some clay. We're going to build our thing around here. I'm going to loosen this up just a hair. I want this. here what you do is you just go right around the bottom here like this now we're just going to get the base built tonight on this just to make it show you what it's going to be like. Tomorrow, before we get ready to put it together, we'll do our final finishing on this. This 
This may not dry all the way tonight, but you'll get a good coat on it. This one here is going to be just a little different style. This one isn't going to have nearly as big a base as that one. Simple reason I'm a little cheap on the clay. So, find a dull knife here. Take it. Go around here and get these edges off of here. Like that. See that? I'll take and put that over here. in there. Clay is pretty cheap. Get the big 25 pound bopper. And you need to put leather or felt on this. I'll probably lean toward felt. It's a little, unless I don't have any. I usually use whatever I have or whatever a customer wants. These are my our racks so I'm doing this just for demonstration here. This is what we got. Got a little water here. Smooth this out a little. Go ahead and cut this edge off. Make it nice and smooth around here. See, you can see both methods are pretty easy to do. You can buy the pre-made uh, kits at the store, but they give you these little plastic things that go around the horns and they never fit right. I mean, they'll do okay in a pinch, but I mean, you don't have to. You can do this relatively cheap. I'm filling in some spots here that are just a little bit caved in in the back, so. Anyway, you see how to do it both ways now. It's, it's not bad either way, so. Tomorrow we'll make a plaque, or I'll have one made. I'll use pine. You can use oak, cedar, or body. I'll see what I got for wood. Walnut. I might even have some walnut around somewhere. But you see how that turned out. That'll look nice when it gets done. And tomorrow this will be cracked a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll put some clay on it, fill in the low spots, things like that. But there's both methods right there. And uh, what, 15 minutes? We had them both done to this point. Now what we'll do is. Uh, We'll get ready, I'll look up some leather or some uh, felt, and we'll get ready to do the actual mounting onto the plaque tomorrow, which is a little bit different. Uh, but these these will make a nice mount. See what I do here to make my own plaques. I got a 1x12 piece of pine right here. I got a newspaper. It's 
it's exactly the same width. So what I'm going to do is I want to make like a nice shield type one for one of these. So I take this paper, just a half a half a half a sheet. I fold it in half like this here. And then I make my design on it. And let's see. We want it to be a shield, so it's got to be shaped something like a point at the top, a point at the bottom. So I'm going to go like this, from corner to corner here, just like this. Make a nice arc there. Okay, now I've got to make a, I've got to come down here, and I want to, I want the bottom, i got to have a point on. So, I'm going to do about the same thing here. You can see where I, but this will, this will be gone. What I want to do is I want to come over here. I just put this in for reference. What I want to do is come over here and round this up. Like this here. I'm just doing a little freehand drawing here. Okay. Now I've got this here circle, kind of a half circle. I'm gonna bring that in, and I wanna, I wanna bring this corner down here. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Now we're gonna cut this out, and I'll show you just exactly what I mean. Okay. We'll see how it looks. We might we might scrap the whole project and say heck with that and do something different. Okay, I got, I got some extra paper here. Let's see. I don't I only have some newspaper. I don't piece of plastic would work nice. Now I'm going to make this cut up around here to see what it looks like. Oh, huh. that's not bad. Okay, now we'll go from this side to this side. I can see now, newspaper isn't the best thing to use, but it was easily available, so. Okay, let me get rid of this stuff here. So there we have our shield, just like this. Well, that's, that doesn't look too bad. We've got, a, got it right in the center. All our cuts will be pretty economical. We'll save our cuts there. Save our cuts here. We'll, we'll draw one side here first. We'll see how this works out. got everything even you could just use a half of one and fold it over and just uh, I'll show you that in just a second here no oops okay now if you wanted to you could just fold this over and do it like this here do another one like this and you'll have exactly the same dimensions Here we go. 
Okay, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? We'll do a shield design on this one. And then the next one we'll do an oval design on it. And that'll be fairly simple. Same process. We've got our paper here that width. It'll come right down to there. Let's see what we got here. It's about the same. This square. So you just fold this over in half. Mark down here. Oh, say. Say you're going to mark down. Let's see. We'll use it. I don't have my tape measure. We'll come down two inches, maybe. Or three inches. Let's see. One, two, three inches from each end. We'll go three inches over here. And then we'll do the same on this side here. Three inches. And the same here. Okay. Now we'll find something that'll fit the three inches here. That's not going to do it. Let's see if we got a bigger bowl here. That's pretty close. So we'll go from there. There to here. Let me do the same thing here, kind of freehand it. And what we'll do is we'll cut those off. We've got an oval shape here that we can use for a plaque, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this right up against this here so we don't have any waste. We're going to go around this with the router too, so make a nice edge on them. But anyway, that's how I do my plaques. They're big enough where they, you can see the wood behind the antlers. I don't like the real little plaques where you don't see them. Now I'm going to get my saw out here. And we'll do a little cutting here now. Okay. <coughs> You'll see how easy this is here. If you know somebody's got a band saw. You see that? That's, uh, I was saying if you knew somebody had a band saw, I got one, but these are a little big. Doesn't take long to cut this out. This is pine, so it's uh, you notice we have kind of a rounded edge right here. Don't worry about that. That's uh, we'll get that with the sander.
Okay, we're going to just cut this one out and show you how we do her. I'll take my sander, go around the edges here, so everything is kind of smooth. See, we've got kind of corners and that, we'll smooth those out. Okay, there's our plaque. Now what we'll do is we'll get our router out. We'll go around here. What we're going to do is we're going to clamp this to this seat here. We're going to do one half and then I'll unclamp it. We'll do the other. be about everything when you're doing this. pretty good to me. Now I'll go over this again with the sander. You see we got some nice edges on there with our horn mount on there. Look real good. We'll get a proper hanger for it. These were after the hair was taken off of that. Now we're going to take them off of here. That come off there pretty easy, see? Now what we can do is uh, on these here, you see how that come off there nice? We'll set that one aside right here. Then we're going to go after this one here. Hopefully that will that one didn't come off as easy as the other one. There we go. It cracked a little bit there, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is you can see how that turned out. We're going to get some clay and put on this, smooth it all out. Now we'll put a screw back in that for a minute. Just to hold it in place. 
Then we'll get some clay on here. I would have mixed a little plaster of Paris in with this, I wouldn't have had this problem. But I didn't, so let's wait for this. I didn't have any plaster of Paris. But paper mache is a lot stronger than this. So, we'll work with this other one in the meantime to get our, put it on the wood stuff like that, so. I'm just smoothing this out. Now to get a, now you can put a piece of pillow fiber around this to make it real smooth. Take up the extra, you know, like spaces. We'll cover this with something. I didn't even look to see if I had any. I know I got something. I don't know what it'll be yet, but it'll either be leather or it'll be uh, felt. Anyway, we're going to set this aside, let it dry. And we'll work on this one here. See that? I'll show you what we're going to do here. We're going to get some uh, auto body filler here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this cavity right here. And that way when we screw in from the back of our plaque on here, like this, we'll drill a couple holes and we'll screw right into that auto body filler. I think that'll work out real nice. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this mixed up. See what we got here. We'll get, we'll get some mixed up enough to go through the inside. Mixing with it like this. We'll mix that up good. It gets nice and pink. That means you got all the red. Now we'll just fill this cavity up here. That way when I come in from the back side, I'll have something to, that those screws will grab onto. Okay. Just have to be even with the back there. Just like this here. See that? Then I'll be able to screw right into that. And when we when that sets up, we'll get back to this. I got a piece of leather here. I think this is actually a piece of elk skin that's been tanned. It's going to go over the top here, and I'm going to get it fairly close right now. And what I'll do is I'll just tack it around the bottom with my stapler. Or you can use hot melt or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and get get one in here. I'll hold that in place. And I'm gonna work this around like this. I'm gonna put another one in here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take and, and stretch this this way. See, I'm trying to get everything back past the antlers here. I don't want to waste too much leather. Leather is kind of hard to come by. Good leather is hard to come by. And I pull that a little bit tight when I'm doing it. You see that? I got that in there. And now, well, I got to deal with these antlers here. See this? So what I got to do is I got to cut around here, around to the back, and make sure that we, we can get around here and so, what I need is a sharp knife so we can cut around there and make a nice clean cut. Okay, so I'm going to pull that a little bit tight right there. I'm going to cut right up under the antler burr. Now if you can get a hole started, that's good. I'm going to pull that around there like this. You see that? And then I'm going to put a staple in that. Now, what you can also do here is once you get that little slip made, go ahead and take your scissors and cut straight up the antler. Like this here. And that'll free up that where you can wrap that around there. You see that? Come on. I want this around here and then either I'll, I want to pull this down here and just like this pull this down around here I'm going to put a staple in it you see that now this here I'm going to cut right here just enough to cover this seam right here so, I'll make sure that I don't cut it too short. Like this right here. And what that'll do is that'll hide that. That's when you're looking at it from the front here, you won't see that other seam that's overlapping this way. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a staple in here. And we'll come back. I'm going to plug in my super, my glue gun here. You see, we got this side here. Looks real good. We won't see that because we'll put our gold braid around there. But we're going to go ahead and come to this side. Now what I'm going to cut down to the, the burr here. Don't go too far past it because I just want to get right to underneath it. Like this right here. You see that? Now what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see how that is right there. We're just going to go ahead and cut this. Now, if you want to do this, if you if you haven't done this before and you don't want to ruin a piece of leather, do one out of cloth first. Get it to fit with cloth, and then use your cloth as a pattern. You see that there? We'll go ahead and we'll cut this off of here. like that. Now that's going to be our piece that overlaps. Now what we got to do is we got to get this piece here. I know it's kind of hard to see all this monkeying around and that but that's just the way it is with this one. I'm trying to film it. I'm going to get it fairly close. One thing about leather and cloth is it stretches quite a bit. So kind of half circle that baby around there like this and we're gonna put this around here remember and see how we got that covered up there we don't want that much so so we don't want any little bumps on there so 
Keep your little small pieces of leather. They always come in handy somewhere. See that? I'm just going to go ahead and put a staple in here. Okay. Okay, we'll see how that works out there. Okay. We got it looking fairly good. It looks really nice there. Uh, now what we got to do is we got to get this stretch behind the back here. And we don't want to get any big wrinkles in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one in the center here. See if we can pull everything this way like that. Pull it to the inside. Okay. And then we'll do the same with this one here. And we'll go ahead and put a staple in that. Staple there. Now, we'll wait for our glue to heat up. We'll see if we got some glue. Here. Oh, yeah. We got some glue. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and put some glue here on the inside. Right like so. That's just to hold that leather into place. Same thing over here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut off this piece of leather here. The extra leather I'm just going to cut off. I can always, there's no sense putting it underneath there. I can always find a use for it somewhere. You'd be amazed. You need a piece of leather, you can't find one. For little trinket deals, like if you do make a knife, cheese, or Indian stuff, or whatever, you, can, you always find a need for a little piece of leather. Okay, now. We got that ready to put on the board here. I drilled two holes here, right kind of in the center. I'm going to come from the back with a couple screws into the back of the antlers there. Uh, that should be enough. It might be a little too long, but if it is, we'll find shorter ones. But anyway, I also made a hanger for it. I took a washer, cut it in half, and I notched it so it sits down on your screw. So what we'll do, we're going to put our antlers on there like this. I'm going to get my screw gun ready. <laughs> I want everything pretty well centered up. As you can see, we got it pretty well centered up. And just going to go ahead and turn it over like this and keep it in place. Put my screws in there. Now you want to make sure you're in the area where your, your auto body, your body, body putty was. So we got this turned up right. We're going to try to drive these screws home. If it moves a little, don't worry. We'll see what it looks like. From the other side. Make sure everything looks kind of copacetic here. If it's leaning down one way or the other, we want it looking about the right way. Let's see. I think that looks pretty darn good. Just a little bit like this. Okay. We'll go ahead and drive this other screw on. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. Okay, I got some gold braid here. We're going to go ahead and go around the, the antlers with it. You can get this at your hobby supply shops. One thing about this stuff here is 
start with a fresh end like this use your glue gun just just whatever glue is on there to hold that now what I've done before I've used several different things I'll use a rope like this this heavy cord from a hobby store and it looks good I mean you wrap it around here as many times as you want and it actually looks really nice it looks rustic and I think we're going to do that with this we want it to look a little bit rustic so I'm going to cut off a chunk of this we'll put a we'll start at the back here we don't want this to show so we'll put a little bit of glue right here put that on there right up underneath the burr right up under the burr there sit let that set for just a minute and just go ahead and wrap that twine around there it almost looks like leather but it's not now I've used leather looks nice leather really leather strips really look nice you see how that's going on there and then you can come to the back here just like this make sure you're underneath here and what I do is I'd cut this at an angle right about oh right here I just put a little bit of glue right here and that will hold that in there. Watch your fingers now. You have these little flyers of glue, little string, just pick those right off. Now see that looks pretty good. The rustic looking, that's what I like. I like the rustic look. So we're going to go ahead and go around the back of the... Oh, we got just a little bit. Go ahead and start in the back here. Put a little dauber of glue on there. Get your string started here. I say you can use a little piece of leather. You can use whatever you want. I cut leather strips. I'll cut a leather strip, say, oh, about this wide, and I'll wrap that around there. If it's kind of like if it's a buckskin colored. I'll use a darker colored like this and it looks really nice. Just gives it just something a little different. Okay, now we're wrapping this. Now you want to remember how many wraps you went around this other one. We got three, so we don't want to end up with four or five here. So what we're doing is we're just gonna go ahead and get this measured out about right there. Careful enough, we'll end up with this right here. Put a little piece of a little bit of glue there. Just like that. See that? Okay, we got that. That looks fairly good. We we'll cut this little hanger on there off. Okay, so this one here, just, we're going to go ahead and go around this. We're going to start at the back side now again. We're going to keep this intact because this is going to end up being a little bit more because we've got a gap to fill in here. So, we want to make sure everything is straight. So we'll go ahead and put some glue on the back here. Well, we're going to start our rope. We'll let that rope set up there. What we're going to do is we're going to build up a couple layers of rope. So, because we've got a gap to fill in. 
So what we're going to do is go all the way around this in a couple spots. Put down some glue. Don't bring it too tight. We don't want this too tight. Not the first time around. We're trying to hide a gap here. See that? Second time we come around, we'll be right on top of it. And it'll look better. We'll do a little more. Keep going around here. Now, uh, this is a nice used leather net. You know, you get. I charge a hundred bucks for this if I was doing it in my shop. I've got a couple hours in it, so you know, if the time is worth something, just go ahead and charge twenty, thirty bucks an hour or whatever, and. Well, you see, I'm just going around the edge here. We'll clean up any extra hot glue that gets stuck somewhere. Now what we're going to do, we want to get this one in there just a little bit tighter. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue right there. Hold that in there. Now we got to see what we can do here. We want to get this to go around our piece of work here. So I'm going to go ahead and just tack this. A little bit of glue in a couple different places. Not, I'm not going to go all the way around because I could end up making a mistake and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I want it to look clean too. Uh, you know, I don't want a lot of messy stuff. So I want it to look clean. I think we can do that. A little bit to the inside here. You see, well, I'm not doing a whole lot ahead. I'm just kind of filling in is what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of this off so I got room to work here. This stuff is fairly cheap, so. And I'll save the scraps on this. This makes good decoration for stuff. Okay. So we got this. Some of this. We'll put another layer on here. starting to get some layers built up. I'll probably go around this about three times just like the front. Okay. Just keep gluing like this. I'm going to go around here like this. Okay. Untangled here. 
And we'll just go ahead and put some on here too. We're, we're coming around to the last here. So. I'm going to save the last here so I can cut off, get a good measurement when I cut it off. And I'm going to cut it off at an angle here. I'm going to try to hide it a little bit over here off the center, off center. Just like this here. So we're going to go ahead and start from where the end is, right, right here. A little more right down in here. I want to hold that a little bit better. Get rid of that booger. Just, I'm just holding this in place for now. So. Then you just pick all your little strands of glue up. brush them off or pick them off or whatever it takes you'll end up with a little bit you always when you pull your glue gun away you'll end up with some what I'm going to do is look at this and make sure that everything is looking okay it looks pretty good and you see what I mean here that's a that's a nice looking horn mount and that will hang on the wall just like this looks good I wouldn't be afraid to let something like that go out of my shop everything I made the plaque did most of the horn stuff for sales and uh, a lot of this stuff for you beginners you can do it all yourself or you can buy everything you need you can buy a plaque for 20 bucks if you want but you know I think making it you learn a little bit more when you're making stuff Anyway, that's the way that goes. That one's all done. Uh, you can do whatever you want with your braid. You can use gold braid, you use leather, you can use this rope. Uh, looks nice, so it'll look very nice hanging on the wall. Now, if you really want to get classy, you can make a tilted thing for it, like this, to hang on the wall, so it looks like that. That's a whole different deal, so. Anyway, that's another project. So that's just like uh, doing a European mount only with your horn mounts. And it looks good that way. Okay, we'll see you later.